This is Sham Sharania with The Vertical reporting from Chicago. I'm here with Justin Jackson, NBA draft prospect from North Carolina. Justin, appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having me. You, you guys had a sour taste in your mouth, obviously, from last year, from losing in the, in the championship of the NCAA tournament. How gratifying was it to come back and, and, and win it all this year? Yeah, um, you know, you don't, you don't get many chances to go to the Final Four, but only twice. And so, you know, after losing, um, you know, it definitely left, like you said, a bitter taste in our mouth. And so we tried to go into that off season and try to prepare ourselves to where we could get back to that point and try to change how we felt that year before. And, um, you know, it's an amazing feeling to be able to be standing up on that stage instead of having that confetti fall and you're up losing it. I've talked to NBA executives. They see you as a two or three, you know, you're, you're a versatile player. Where do you see yourself? Um, I mean, I would say either one of them. Um, I think a lot of people kind of slot me at that three position because of my height. Um, but, you know, I feel like I can kind of play both of them. You know, I can I can bring some things to the table for both, both positions. So um, I'm looking forward to that whole process and trying to figure out where I fit in and whatever it might be. So that game against Kentucky where you defended Malik Monk, I feel a lot of teams, a lot of people are identifying that game as, listen, he's a guy who can not only score the ball, shoot the ball, but also lock down other players. The guy was, you know, he's, he's a two-guard. He's, he's, he was one of the most potent scorers in college basketball. How far did that help you, you know, your confidence going in as a two-way player? You know, for me, I took that task extremely serious. I mean, obviously, he had 47 on us the last time we had played him. And so I took that extremely serious, and I just tried to carry that over into every single game that we played. Um, and I think overall, you know, I didn't look at it at the time as something that would help me in this process. But overall, I think that's something I can bring to the table. Um, like you said, a two-way player that can shoot or score the ball while also defending on the other end. And, uh, that's why I'm going to try to continue to take um, into these workouts and, and kind of into the next level. Do, do you take when, when other players, when offensive players have those big games with you guys? Do you take that personally? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously Malik is a great player. Right. Um, you know, he's about to be drafted extremely high. He's about to have a great career in the NBA. Um, and so at times, I mean, there's, there's so much you can do against a player like that. But 47 is, is a crazy amount of points. And, um, you know, for me, I try just not to let him have that same amount. Um, so I do take it a little more serious whenever somebody has a crazy amount on us. Uh, we try to change that the next time out. So you look at, you know, your work ethic, your shooting, your scoring. Those are probably your strong suits. What are you going to express to teams now that you're going to enter the workout process, the interview process? You know, I'm just going to be somebody that goes and works hard. Uh, you know, I'll put myself in the best position possible by putting in as much time as I can. Um, you know, whether that's trying to earn my way up the roster spots or, you know, trying to stay on the floor, whatever it might be. I'm going to try to, you know, continue to work as hard as I possibly can. You're not going to have to worry about me on, on or off the court. Um, and my work ethic will, will continue to grow. Um, I'll just try to continue to do things to put me on the court and help the team win. Awesome. Is there a player you kind of identify yourself with and, and see yourself um, at the next level? I like George Gervin. That's the reason I wear 44. Um, you know, a lot of people might not know him. He's a little a little farther back in the years. Um, but if you look at somebody now, I'd probably say somebody like Nicholas Batum, somebody like that. They can do a bunch a bunch of things. But George Gervin is somebody that I love. Awesome. Justin, appreciate appreciate you taking the time. I appreciate it. From Chicago, this is Sean Strania for The Vertical.